Namaste everybody. Welcome to Opinya Yoga. I know it has been a long time since my last video. Life, we all know that things happen. I have little baby and I make my priority by choosing to take care of her first. So my life kind of evolve around her schedule, everything in the house, take care of myself. And it happened that I am doing my practice right now and I just have an idea pop up in my head. And you know what? I feel like filming it would be a good idea. Because also right now I have been offering live classes at a different platform. That one is called Inside Tamer. If you never have experienced that website, that app, you want to give it a try, I highly suggest you to go and visit the website or the app. There has a lot of live classes and also an audios that in this yoga meditation and inspirational uh, talking that you really enjoy. Okay. And of course, I watch other teacher teaching classes and I feel like mm, we can get better out from poses if every one of you remember to dance with the pose, use the breath and allow it to really emphasize what the pose really benefits our muscles. To get the best out from yoga poses, I don't think that most of the poses we can just hold the pose, count the breath, and hope for the best. I trust that has some truth in it, but it's actually even more beneficial in most of the poses. When you are in the pose and you are holding the pose with no matter how many breaths you decide to do, you allow your body to kind of be breathed in, be breathed out, and let the pose really dance and move. And today, a pose that I want to show you is one of our essential poses, is Downward Facing Dog, Adho Mukha Shavanasana, right? When you come to the pose, especially when you do with some salutation, most of the time, for some reason, we require to stay in this pose for three breaths. Okay. One, and not only are you see these two, sorry, I, my nose is stuck up. Three, and then, you know, we bend the knee, we look forward, and we step to Uttanasana. You can hear the student breathing, but I don't see the student moving the body at all, which I hope that they will do something like this. Okay. You can watch first. So when you inhale, like soften your elbow, lift your armpits up. When you have that lift in your shoulder blades, start to be able to move uh, more uh, fluid, fluidly. So that's when you draw your shoulder blades together. And then squeeze your shoulder blades together and exhale, push the floor away from you and really right, pull your body toward the leg. So the more you bring weight toward the leg, the more you get out from your calf and your hamstring stretch. Yeah, and I feel like that's gave you so much more stretch from what the pose is wanting you to stretch and when you get the shoulder blades onto your back you actually do do cobra when you opening your heart when you're upside down of course you don't feel like it and you get that heart opening stretch and the muscle move into the direction of that at the same time so let's say we hold for three breaths instead i hope next time before instead of you just hold the post still Breathe and let your body be kind of be breathed by the breath. Or you can look at it like 
I am dancing with my breath. I am pulsating with my breath. You can look at yourself like a jellyfish and you just expand and soften and expand and get the energy out and expand to receive the energy and then exhale, get the energy, move into other muscles. Here we go. Now we're facing up. Okay. Just look at it. And next time when you do in the practice or you take a pause, give it a try and see how it feels. Feel the differences. Then maybe pick for yourself which one works better, which one feel that you get more out from it. If not moving the muscle, it feels right for you. Of course, I cannot, I don't want to tell you to move. I want you to listen to your body and what feels right to you in the moment, right? At least, if anything at all, in this video, you know that there are another possibility to be in the pose with breath and you dance with it. Okay, I'm gonna get into the pose now. Ready? Here we go. Bend the elbow slightly to the sides. Inhale. And I'll pick up shoulder blades together. Exhale. You can see my chest move downward more. Repeat. Breath number two. Breath number three. And as my chest go toward the floor, right, my armpit is still up and away from the floor. So you can see I get so much length up to my back that bring more weight, more force into my legs and I really get more out from stretching my calves, stretching my hamstrings muscles. This is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I don't know when I'm going to see you again, but life for me right now is getting better. And when I say that, I have to tell you this. Every day is different. And today is a better day for me. I feel like I have something and an idea to share. I better jump in and do that. I'm just gonna say goodbye, go back and finish my practice. I wish and pray for your happiness, please take the time to come back to yourself. Breathe and center and remember that the power is always in you to be happy, to be grounded. See you next time, everybody. Namaste.